Hello and welcome back. Um, let's just have a quick post-mortem on the Black Red Vampires deck and just to talk a bit about it in hindsight to our two men. Um, so uh, we won the match even though um, game two was pretty unsatisfying and probably made a few mistakes and even game three probably. Uh, game one was hefty because we had to mulligan to five. I think we had to. Um, but maybe that's even that is debatable um, but nonetheless a win is a win and I think game 3 showed um, the strong side of the deck and how it usually performs um, and Carbait is the top deck out there right now and yeah if this deck does beat it um, to a very good extent it's really made um, yeah. To, to beat it and um, to remove everything on the board pretty well so um, yeah I think we did well in the end and uh, let's just um, have a quick chat about um, card alternatives some um, that you could use or con could consider for the deck um, so Captivating Vampire just to get us started uh, yeah, it was used in the past quite often in Vampire's deck as a 2 off or 3 off, just to get you uh, a little creature boost, but it's not played anymore because even though he nets you 4 to 5 additional damage, his second ability um, to gain control of a target creature almost never triggers anymore because it rarely happens that you have 5 vampires out, especially if you're playing Manic Vandal main board. Um, so he has practically vanished and I think um, it was for the better. Duress, um, yeah, so there's a decision to make. Either you can um, play direct artifact removal on the main board or you just play a more general um, approach um, in the form of discard, in the form of Duress. So in the case he's um, playing a Stoneforge Mystic and fetching his um, his equipment, his battle skull, his sort of war and peace, uh, whatever, or sort of feast and famine against you, um, you simply uh, make him discard his equipment, or even uh, make him discard his planeswalker like Chase. So it comes in pretty handy. Um, but I always found it it was a very indirect answer um, to to the threat and. Yeah, I just have have it a better way. Just having directly remove um, his um, his equipment is just a better way of dealing with it. I mean, the problem is just equipment, and the problem is not chase for this deck. I mean, you've got enough creatures um, that you will most likely be able to kill chase anyway. Um, so just to fight equipment, just let's side in rear equipment or artifact removal and. It was just the better way of dealing with it, but it's still in options and might might even come up later if if the if the meter shifts away from equipment, for example, and this is definitely an option, and I think it's um, even the be the better option um, than Inquisition of Kozilek like, because you can cast it later because you want turn turn one, you really want to um, yeah start casting your creatures, and maybe you only want to cast the rest turn three and um, before he's able to play his um, his planeswalker uh, or just after he's fetched his equipment so the rest is definitely the better choice um, over um, inquisition and yeah I think it's a pretty good card I would you could definitely consider playing a uh, rest over manic vandal um, without problems um, but right now as it is with Carbade and other Stoneforge Mystic decks, Manic Vandal does just a better job, I think, overall. Um, yeah, that's pretty much for the main board. I don't have any other ideas um, which I could uh, give you on your way. Um, let's quick switch to the sideboard. Um, better Skull, it's an option. I mean, the build is anyway mainly a Matt Landstrom's build. Um, the one um, Vampires player, mostly only plays Vampires. Um, probably the best uh, US player right now uh, playing vampires and he had better skull in place of Civil Life Staff um, and then practi practically the same build um, which is I mean yeah 
which is pretty solid but you can save your tickets I thought um, because Lifestaff does an equally good job I think in this kind of deck because it works pretty well with Blood Guest and Viscerous here um, as I talked about earlier and it even gives you um, a small um, boost small power um, boost so of your creatures so yeah I mean that's definitely an option if you have two better skulls yeah why not why not cutting the life steps for better skull I mean it's, it's just it's the better card overall though you you'll be pretty late to cast it um, if you uh, even ever be able to um, because five mana is still five mana um, yeah but anyway um, Demon of Death's Gate was a pretty popular card back when Valakut was still a deck, uh, which right now it is not, and it's not played very often. Um, but if if you in your meter, uh, if you happen to encounter a lot of Valakuts, then yeah, definitely life stuff is out and demon is in. Is in. Um, it's very likely you'll be able to cast him because yeah, three creatures out is pretty 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 nice, and. Cluster Highborn, if Highborn is out, and two other vampires, for example, um, yeah, you, you sack all your vampires, Highborn triggers, so you get six life, your opponent already loses six life, so um, um, the casting costs um, for flashing this in uh, is pretty much reduced, and doesn't matter anymore, so um, this is pretty, a pretty, pretty, pretty good card, even nowadays, I guess, against any deck that cannot remove a demon of death's gate, it cannot remove a 9-9 flyer with trample. A pretty sweet, pretty sweet tech for um, vampires. Though you gotta really watch out for active aggression or some other shenanigans. Alright, um, last card I want to talk about is Shatter. As you've seen in our match, Mental Misstep is on the rise, even though I don't think it's the perfect card uh, in standard. Um, than it is in Legacy, um, but yeah, Shatter, um, if you just really want to, want to make sure to, to be able to cast your your um, artifact removal, Shatter is an option, um, also because uh, it destroys um, yeah, Spell's Guide pretty well. Yeah, but I think that's it. Um, the strong matchups uh, are definitely, um, with this deck, pr practically Anything um, can get problematic against Valakut um, if you don't have Demon. Uh, you gotta really be pretty fast and quick. But I think it's pretty solid deck against anything on the field right now. Um, and yeah, inexpensive to make. Um, yeah, it's pretty much on the aggressive side, so you gotta really like this kind of style um, of playing. But um, it's a pretty good deck, and yeah. That's pretty much it from my side. Um, let's just wrap it up here. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions regarding the new series, and we'll be happy to read it and to incorporate it into our next sessions, uh, our next video sessions here. As you've noticed, we've already cut the background music because, yeah, not many people liked it, and yeah, it's also much easier for us to um, do the video editing without any background music fillers. So yeah. Um, just leave uh, in the comments, uh, leave your thoughts in the comments, and uh, yeah, we don't know yet what other deck we'll be dealing with next time, but uh, I hope it will be sweet, and yeah, see you there. Thanks for watching.